Hey, what up, world? Voice Controller, a.k.a. Shiro Fujioka back again with another tarot card reading. This time, we are going to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle through my favorite deck, the Hoodoo Root Worker deck. And, um, yeah, we're just pulling in some vibes for the creatives and for all the ears that need to hear this. So we have the Three of Sticks, Son of Knives, so we're off to a good start, and the Eight of Baskets. Yeah, buckle up. This is going to be a good one. <laughs> As you can see in the Eight of Baskets, a man is seen walking away from a house. He obviously is an unwelcome visitor, as someone has placed hot foot powder on the porch to keep him away. There are many different recipes for hot foot powder, but the most common ones usually include pepper, salt, and sulfur. So the energy that this card represents is, you know, when we see this in a reading, especially if, if the reading is starting out with this energy, um, it's, it's, it's paired with the frequency of uh, becoming independent, moving on, leaving the past behind, um, trying to find oneself, relocating, abandon all that you know that you have outgrown, and, and you know, it's, this is the energy of the truth seekers. So, you know, so, so I feel that, that, you know, some of the ears that are hearing this are being called to, to walk away, you know, walk away sometimes from, from the things that you've built, you know, the things that we built feel like a home a lot of the times, you know, when we live in them. And, and there comes a time where we're not welcome or it just feels like it's time to walk away. And, and this is paired to the pull of planets, you know, like we all have gravitational pull and sometimes, you know, we're in the same orbit and other times we're not. So we have to know when to step away and, and go out on our quest. And, you know, we're being called for independence and for relying on our instincts. So. Yeah, that, that's, that's, how, that's the frequency I'm feeling with the Eight of Baskets. So now we're going to move on to the Sun of Knives. So it's, it's really interesting to get the Sun of Knives after the Eight of Baskets because the energy of the Eight of Baskets kind of sent us on our quest. And the Sun of Knives energy feels more like the, the energy that we should rely on while on our quest. So the Sun of Knives stands in front of a church, clasping a switchblade and a razor as he awaits the arrival of his opponent. The winner of this slash fest must face no retribution from the family of the wounded or the deceased man because the battle takes place before the eyes of God. Son of Knives represents the tendency to go too hard and provoke others. On the positive side, he is innovative, gung-ho, energetic, vigilant, clever, and persuasive. Um, when this energy shows up, especially after the Eight of Baskets, it feels like, like we're being called to to go on this quest and know that it's under the perspective and under the eyes of divinity and even though we are walking divine steps that we can still you know take out our knives you know which is our wisdom words and um you know cut out a new path and speaking of cutting out a new path we have the three of sticks and we see a root worker standing at a high mountain with a bird's eye view and when we see this card, it's a reminder of improved finances, travel, exploration, becoming a leader, seeing the big picture and embarking on a quest with the energy of feeling free and uninhibited. Thanks for joining me, y'all. Peace and love.